Hey, this is Presh Talwakar. Can you calculate the perimeter of these composite rectilinear shapes? These problems caused a stir when they were assigned to 10-year-olds in England. Some parents could not solve these problems and took their complaints to Facebook. One parent even said these problems are impossible to solve. Can you figure them out? To get started, I'll define a couple of terms. A rectilinear shape is one whose edges all meet at right angles. Each interior angle is either equal to 90 degrees or 270 degrees. A composite shape is one that can be broken down into simpler shapes like triangles, rectangles, and so on. Let's calculate the perimeter of these composite rectilinear shapes, starting with the shape on the left. We are only given the dimensions of two of the edges. The perimeter will be equal to these lengths plus the lengths of the unknown edges. While we don't know the lengths of these edges, we can figure out their total length. We'll color the unknown horizontal edges in orange and the unknown vertical edges in green. We need to figure out the total length of the orange pieces and the green pieces. We can do this using a clever principle. We can consider the total length of the horizontal edges and see that these two orange edges will have a total length of 10. Similarly, we can look at the vertical edges and we can see that combined, they will have a total length equal to 12. So we can deduce the total length of the unknown orange edges is equal to 10, and the total length of the unknown vertical edges, which are in green, are equal to 12. We now have enough information to calculate the perimeter, which will be equal to 44. Now let's solve the second problem. We know the length of some of the edges and we need to compute the length of the unknown edges. While we don't know the length of each individual edge, we will again consider the length, the total length of these unknown edges. This problem will be a little bit trickier. We'll get started by calculating the horizontal edges, which we'll color in orange. Together, these unknown horizontal edges will have a total length equal to the known horizontal edge of 9. So these orange edges will all add up to 9. The vertical edges are a little bit trickier because they overlap. So what we'll do is we'll try and count it without overlapping. We have one vertical edge, and now we'll continue this vertical edge without overlapping. Together, these two vertical edges will have a total length equal to 11. There's one edge, one part, part of the edge which we haven't considered. We'll color this in blue. And we can see from the diagram that this will have a length equal to 2. We now have enough information to calculate the total length of the unknown edges. We substitute these values in, and we can therefore calculate the perimeter is equal to 44. Did you figure out these problems? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media, at Presh Talwakar. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.